Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship preview video, and this is the SS Andrea Doria. Uh, a complete redesign, uh, or basically a whole new uh, version of the ship. I did a version uh, tutorial back in, I think it was 2014, uh, but it was such a crap design I thought I'd better get on and do a new one. It was requested anyway that I do a new uh, Andrea Doria, and uh, this is what i come up with. I built this in conjunction with the, uh, the Empress of Ireland, but... Uh, I've had a few problems with Minecraft recently. I should have done the video of this last week, but Minecraft just hasn't been working. I don't know what's been going wrong. Um, I'm a little bit worried. I thought I was going to lose this, but hey, here there we go. Minecraft working again, and uh, I finally got around to making the video. But uh, it's a complete redesign, a new hull shape, and new things, and all, everything. Uh, it's, once again, it is 70% bigger than the real ship, so it's not one-to-one -one scale. So uh, like the rest of my ships, it has been upscaled a little bit. Uh, the full length of the ship is, I've got it written down here, the full length is 362 blocks long. The width is 49 blocks. Uh, so the ship is about two blocks two, block, two blocks wider than it should be uh, in comparison to the length. So it's, it's just it's a little bit over, over size and width. The draft, uh, the red section is 16 and the main hull is 18. So that sort of gives you an idea on the size of this thing. So it's 363 blocks long. Or 362 blocks long so um, yeah it's a little bit bigger than uh, it would be if it was one to one scale so we'll have a quick look around the ship anyway and I've taken my time with this thing it uh, much better or well, my opinion anyway much better design it does look quite a fat ship at the moment but that's because it's not sat in the water the uh, Andrea Dora is sort of known for being a rather sleek ship so uh, once it's this thing sits in the water it does look a lot more sleeker um, but yeah it's uh, something else for another day so I look around the stern it's a very similar stern to what I got on the um, the Coronia over there it's sort of not a copy and paste but it's sort of taking inspiration from it so it's uh oh shit what's happened ah, what's happened oh there we go uh, <laughs> thought I'd lost the game then I don't know what's going on uh, yeah massive chunk here I think uh, yeah but uh, yeah, what I talked about. Oh, the stern, yeah. So uh, we've got a stern, very like I say, very similar in appearance to the Coronia, but uh, I just wanted to sort of copy it and uh, update it a bit more to uh, blend in better with the hull and uh, a new bow as well. So like I say, it's a more uh, structurally accurate ship uh, compared to my old one. I mean, the old Andrea Doria I'd done was basically a, a long wedge with a point at one end and very basic superstructure so I was just taking a bit more time with this thing build it over sort of a three or four weeks like I said I'd build it in conjunction with the Empress of Ireland uh, which I did, did a tutorial for about two weeks ago now and uh, yeah, that, that came out alright and uh, hopefully this thing will uh, uh, be as interesting to others as well so let's look around the ship let's look over the top so got a bit more detail over the top this time we've got all, all the right uh, things in the right places in theory uh, the cranes on the front I have not added any rigging as you know as luck with the rest of my ships I didn't bother adding, adding rigging but I think with this ship you sort of need to add it really um, so I may come back and add some rigging to it depending on what uh, time restraints I get but hey, hey, there we go so I look over the funnel got a slanty funnel this time as well with the slanty stripes does look a bit weird but you know I wasn't overly impressed with the funnel but there is time for me to update it. I'm not going to start the tutorial straight away. I'm going to give it another week before I uh, do a tutorial for this thing. Um, you know, I don't want to sort of get get into something and not be able to finish it too soon. So I start if I can if I get round to it, I shall start things the first Monday after this video. So that would be when the uh, Andrea Dora tutorial will take place. And in that time as well, the old tutorial will come offline as well. So I will remove that one and replace it with a whole new tutorial for this thing. So I'm not going to go too far over there because of the chunk here, so I don't want to lose the screen again. So you can see we've got over the top here, I put basic swimming pools in. Um, there are more detail can be added to them. We've got the cranes on the stern as well, got another set of swimming pools. I've added as much detail as I can um, as opposed to structures on the ship, so I've not added deck chairs or anything like that. So those things are just movable objects. Uh, I've also got a better system on the windows as well. The windows on the Andrea Dora are really weird, so I've just sort of gone with this design. So it's not pretty, but it will do. It's what I come. Up, well, it's what I could come up with. It's all I could do. So that's the windows there on the side of the uh, the open promenade. Uh, we've got uh, open, uh, not open windows, but sort of two tier windows on the bridge. And it's quite a wide bridge as well. Like I say, the ship is two blocks wider than it needs to be, uh, but that's not an issue. I mean, it does make the ship a bit more broad. So that's that there. The forecastle area there. Got a bulbous bow, which is. Uh, than I left out on the original 
So that, well, it's not a, well, it's sort of a bulbous bow, but it's not a sort of a peg like on modern ships. So a subtle bulbous bow there. Did I upward to the Coronia? No, I didn't. Right, so that's that's different there as well. So there we go. That's that. And you can see the uh, the ship does not have a uh, have a shear either. So the shear is basically the front of the ship is higher than the middle of the ship. So it's sort of a banana shape yeah, on real ships, but uh, this ship does not have that. None of my ships have it actually. Uh, I sort of left out the shear. It's it's something that engineering in Minecraft to put to add a shear in is sort of it's sort of unnecessarily awkward to do. So that's why I choose not to do it. The Queen Mary I could have done, but I got so far into that build I decided not to. So uh, that's that. So the tutorial for this thing, like I say, will begin the first Monday after this video, and it will be the last uh, tutorial for 2018. Uh, before we move into 2019 and on to pastures new basically all things new for 2019 hopefully because 2018 has basically been uh, a rebuild and repackage everything that I've done but previously so I think we've done Titanic, Queen Mary, Aquitania, Lusitania um, plus a few others which uh, have just been rebuilds of previous sh uh, previous ships Empress of Ireland as well of course uh, there's probably a few others as well so, so 2018 has basically been uh, sort of stop and restart sort of thing so 2019 I'll try and dig into the list of ships that I've been requested and try and get through some of those although the Queen Elizabeth uh, is a option for next year as well I have got most of that done but it's not on show I'm not going to show that till much later on it's basically the Queen Mary's hull but with an all new superstructure and things like that uh, so that will be uh, a new rebuild basically um, for next year uh, but yeah I just want to sort of get the rebuilds out of the way and then we can move on to the new things which I've not done before ship wise uh, there's a there's a huge list of ships that have been uh, created and uh, yeah I'll try and dig into those throughout next year uh, depending on how YouTube responds as well I mean YouTube has been a bit shit in 2018 so hopefully 2019 will be an improvement can't guarantee that but we'll see uh, but yeah, I'll have a quick one more look around the ship and uh, we'll see how things go. But yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I think what, what was the, it was the film Ghost Ship as well. This ship was well, the, the ship in the in the in the film Ghost Ship was called I think it was the Anto was it the Antonia Grazza or something like that. It's basically the Andrea Doria sort of tarted up and uh, or a ship based off the Andrea Doria sort of tarted up and made it look a bit different. And I have seen people want me to build that ship but I'm not going to I'm going to do the Empress uh, the um, the Andrea Doria and if you want to convert it to the Antonia Grazza or whatever it's called then you can do that I'm not going to do it myself because it's not a real ship it will say anyway what people want to do but uh, let me know your opinions and uh, things and whatnot about this ship and uh, I'll try and improve things if I need to uh, like I said I'm going to add the shear though and the funnel does look a bit odd but uh, it's as good as it's going to get I think but I keep saying but I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, lots of uh, lots of things that have been improved over the previous one. I could have got the old ship and put it next to this one and sort of compared the two. But I thought sod it. Everyone knows what the old one looks like. I mean, just look at the channel. It's on the banner at the top of my channel. Uh, that's the Empress of Ireland, although that is in from the depths. So it's the same ship still, or the old one anyway. This new one will uh, hopefully. <laughs> be on the banner soon so I'll uh, do a new banner for 2019 I think try and rebrand a little bit more and uh, hopefully get things done a bit better so that is Andrea Doria and like I said it'll be the last build for 2019 or 2018 sorry and then we'll like I said move into 2019 with a bit, uh, bit of, uh, with some fresh designs or some fresh uh, ideas and I'll leave it at that so that's the Andrea Doria and it, like I say, a tutorial will commence the first Monday after this video. I don't know what the date will be. I'll set the 4th today. So it'll be the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. I think it'll be the 10th of December, I think, we'll start this tutorial. And uh, hopefully everything will be fine. So we shall leave it at that. So that's that's that. This is the Andrea Doria. This is me, Rich. And we shall leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And hopefully returning with another video soon. So um, bye for now.